Hi, I'm George Daly. I'm a professor at Harvard Medical School. Uh, I'm clinically active as a hematologist, a blood doctor, but I also run a very large laboratory. I was for many years uh, living at Harvard. I was a Harvard undergraduate and then as a graduate student I was a proctor for two years and then I was a tutor at Quincy House for ten. Um, and during that time I had many, many um, both personal um, and advisory experiences with, um, with mental issues, mental health and, and depression and, and just the stress that we all feel. I remember very well the difficult transition I had to make personally as the top student from a very, very small town high school in upstate New York to the overwhelming challenge of being a Harvard freshman. I remember how difficult that was. Um, my sophomore year was uh, eminently forgettable. Um, and I withdrew and uh, spent an entire year f floundering, uh, only to rediscover a, a small community and a laboratory that nurtured me and gave me a sense of purpose within the larger Harvard community. That launched me into my career as a, as a biomedical scientist, but very personally, again, it's not been uh, a smooth road. I remember two very difficult years during graduate school when my experiments weren't working and I was being challenged every day by uh, scientists around me and my advisor to buck up and uh, get back on track. Uh, and at the time I never thought I'd amount to anything and only through uh, refocusing my efforts was I able to get back on track and feel good about myself again scientifically. Um, but then it happened again uh, when I was a junior faculty member. I went through several years of self-doubt. Uh, and, you know, now many, many years of struggle has paid off and I've, I'm, very, I'm, I'm very satisfied with where I am, but the challenges and the tensions remain. They will always remain. I've learned over the years that we're measured much more by our, not by our success, uh, our, our response to that success, but we're really measured by our resiliency in the face of failure. And we are all going to fail. Everyone fails. And in fact, I think one of the greatest attributes of, of, uh, of, a, of an academician or a successful um, scientist or anyone uh, successful is really their ability to learn from failure and their ability to maintain uh, the, the competence to, to rebound in the face of failure. As a clinician, I appreciate that there's a 16% lifetime incidence of major depression, serious, serious major depression. And that in some circumstances, depression is as malignant a disease as the worst cancer. And the only way that we can handle that is to appreciate that we are not alone. Um, it's part of life to go through the struggles to feel the sense of unworth, to feel the sense of desperation. But there's so many resources, uh, resources that I reached out to when I was in need. Uh, as a proctor, as a tutor, I helped many, many students along the way. As an advisor now to many graduate students, I've made the diagnosis of major depression. Um, I've made Students uh, fight the, the urge to withdraw, to, to reach out for help. Um, we have tremendous counselors. Uh, if it's not your own advisor, if it's not a counselor at UHS or a personal counselor, we have many, many opportunities to find help. This website is just the beginning. You have to speak up because you're not alone.